Misty, tell me a little bit about you and your qualifications and why you would like to be a um, school board. Sure. I have two children that attend public school in Brevard County and have been a very involved parent since my oldest started school in 2009. I volunteer for the PTO, the School Advisory Council, Title I Advisory Committee at the district, have been very involved in studying funding, facility issues, you name it. So I have a, quite a solid background when it comes to the schools. In addition to my work outside of volunteering for the schools, I'm a college professor. I teach at Rollins College in areas of leadership, small groups, communication, interpersonal communication, um, and also in listening, which I think is really important. I am a business owner in Brevard County, as well as president of a nonprofit organization here in Brevard County. So I have a wide array of skills that I think are going to be important for the board. Super. All right, now, what is uh, the number one issue you'd like to see addressed the minute you walk in the door? Well, obviously, I think finance is an issue that we have in the district that we have to address, and hopefully we can get the sales tax passed, so that will give us a little bit of wiggle room. But I think the bigger, bigger overarching issue that we have to address is the culture of the organization. We have, for some time now, sent a message to our community, whether intentionally or not, that perhaps... We don't know enough to give them input as community members to make changes within the district that would be positive for our students. We have teachers that are afraid to speak up because they feel like they may not have a job if they do, as well as administrators. And I think all in all, we have to come back to the point where as an organization, we establish a culture where we all work together in support of our schools because they are the cornerstone of our community.